Hello and good morning. Oh, it's not morning, is it? Hello and good evening and welcome to our new Life Kids slot. Um, I hope that you um, find time during the week to watch this video with your parents or your carers or whoever looks after you. We are so glad to be still doing the Fruits of the Spirit and this week we're going to be looking at love, the first fruit of the Spirit, love. So um, we are going to worship together and then we are going to have a little talk and that is it tonight and then we'll see you next week. So enjoy Life Kids today. of my heart in the mountain where I run the fountain I drink from oh he's my song with the king of my heart be the shadow where I hide the ransom for my life oh he's my song you are to you about the fruit of the spirit and she said there was nine and over the next nine weeks we are going to be looking at a fruit of the spirit every week so today we are looking at love so love is so important to God God created us to be in a relationship with him which is, means to love him and for him to love us as well and um, in the New Testament we see that a Pharisee, um, a, a teacher in a church, comes up to you, Jesus and says what's the greatest commandment and he was actually trying to trick Jesus but Jesus said the greatest commandment is to love your God and the second greatest commandment is to love your neighbour. So love is really, really important to God. And when we invite the Holy Spirit into our lives, he can help us with um, different fruit of the Spirit and um, 
deep, being able to deepen our love for others and love people when they're really not easy to love either. But today I'm going to talk to you about five love languages, okay? And that's different ways to love people or that you feel loved. So I'm going to introduce you, you to them. And the first one is to love and feel loved by being hugged or holding hands with someone. So this is Rice Krispie, my little teddy from, well, it's not too little, but my teddy from when I was younger. Um, and so, yeah, to hug him, to hug. So to hug or hold hands is your first way. There is a second way to show love and... I wonder if you can get that. Mm. Yes, it's by doing things for other people. So um, you might feel really loved when people do things for you. Maybe your parents or carers um, tidy your room and you're like, oh my goodness, they must really love me. Um, and maybe um, some of your parents or carers feel really loved when you do something for them, like you give them your dishes or you wash the dishes. Right, so my third thing, my third way of feeling love is actually the way I feel love really well. And that is um, shown by playing games um, with family or friends because it's spending time with people. I absolutely love um, having a coffee with my friends or playing board games with my family or going on a walk with my family. And I feel really loved um, when they do that. And uh, maybe you do as well. So the fourth way that you can feel loved is by someone giving you a present or giving you a card, which I've uh, kind of got a blank piece of paper, but this is a card. Um, and some people feel love really a lot by when they get given a gift. And then lastly, I've got my microphone. People sometimes feel real love when you just tell them. You encourage them and you tell them. So you say, I love you, or you look really nice today, or I really loved the way you did that. And that shows love as well. So I want you to have a think about the way you feel love the most. So you could either feel love by being hugged, or by uh, having your hand held, by um, having people do things for you, by spending time with people, by receiving a gift, or by being told that the people love you. Now we all feel, we all feel love in all those ways, but there might just be one way that you feel love more than the others. And I would encourage you to find out um, the way that people in your family or your friends feel love the most, because that will really help you to be able to show them love. So what we can do is we can have a look around this week. So I'd encourage you to do that. I'd encourage you to then show them the way that um, they mean to you by showing them something that um, they loved um, and I would encourage you to pray about it as well pray about um, how does my child my friend my mum my dad my carer feel um, loved and I'd encourage you to show them that this week so um, I'm just going to leave us with a prayer lastly. So dear Lord, we just thank you that you love us so much and we just pray that we can shine for you and show people how much that we love them and that they will see you through us. And we pray that this week you help us be able to see the ways in which the people around us feel love the most. We pray for each and every person watching this video 
that they feel your love and they feel the love around them as well. Amen. Ooh. Amen. Reckless love.
to everyone that was involved in Life Kids today. We will see you next week on Sunday night, um, Sunday evening, and we would love you to really have a lovely and blessed week. And um, we're praying for you and we really hope that you've had a lovely time. So we will be here next week with more Life Kids um, videos. We will be in person at our Marley Hill venue and our Walls End venue next Sunday morning. And for at 6 to 11, we have a Zoom on a Tuesday night at 6.30 to 7pm. So join us in any of those things next week and we'll see you soon. Bye for now.